What is happening, y'all? Welcome on back. Inner Consecrated Snowfield again. Looking to wrap up this area in general this episode. So I already got some marks. Uh, we're going to be running over to some ruins over here. Well, not really ruins, but like ruin buildings. Uh, over here, we have the Log Annex ruins. We get a spell right there. There's some scattered loot around, but spell, stone sword key, uh, some loot over here where that invasion would have happened that we're going to get. Then after we grab that, we're just heading on into that tunnel. So let's get started. We're going to do all of that stuff. And then after that, we're going to head on over and knock out Ordina. So a lot to cover. I mean, I was hoping to get this all done last episode, and I might have been able to if that damn Deathbird didn't give me as much trouble as it did, but... You know, what can you do? It's the final Deathbird of the game. Pretty beefy one at that. Well, for starters, I could have had a fully upgraded weapon. That probably would have made a good difference, but that's beyond the point. Deathbirds always suck. Everyone knows that. Just gonna grab that. That helps against uh, frostbite and bleed. Nice little item there. Oh. And that is why I did not stay there for long. So right down there is access to the tunnel. We're not going in there just yet. We want to do the ruins first. So uh, as you run through this place, lots of stuff here will do frenzy. Even these trolls will do frenzy. You can also get a near infinite amount of IA logs here. Gonna go here, jump over. There we go. Now the good news is we're about to get a new frenzy spell. So my faith people out there, I'm sure you're excited. Uh, the bad news is honestly, it's it's not as good as the faith spells we already have. Um, so this is unendurable frenzy. It is very similar to. I don't think I have. Let me see if my spells are stored. I don't think so. Well, anyway, it's very uh, similar to the other Frenzy, Flamer Frenzy that we have, but the thing is, this one does, like, a secondary explosion where it shoots it all over. I mean, it says it can be cast in motion. You can, like, walk slightly while you do it. Um, so, basically, it's Flames of Frenzy and then a Frenzy that goes all over the place after the fact. But for the FP cost and uh, how poorly the follow-up attacks actually connect, it's really not worth using. Um... Under very, and I mean very specific circumstances, like, you know, you climbed underneath the boss and you were able to get it off against, like, a dragon or something. Yeah, it'll do really well there. Uh, but against most enemies, you're just going to be better off using Flames of Frenzy. So, you know, it's worth trying out, but just don't, you know, I don't know. I know I sound like a, a negative Nancy, but I remember I got it and I was like, yo, new Frenzy ability this is going to be so cool. I can't wait. And then it just turned out to not be that good and that was a uh, was a pretty sad moment because i was all about frenzy on my first playthrough i thought it was the coolest thing in the world uh hey buddy I'm just gonna run around i know there's a couple like stray boots that we can pick up around here let's see there we go yellow embers i thought there was like a rune item somewhere yeah go through that little hole Got that. We got the rune items. No, we didn't get the rune items. Uh, so was it inside of you? Nope. Well, I'm not going to waste too much time. I know there's a bunch of stuff out by the tree, so let's head over to our fourth marker. So I also want to point out a lot of these late game zones, it's it's not worth fighting all these things. These enemies are like super deadly. Um, it's weird, like the legacy dungeons going through, uh, you know, the blood zone, the Halley tree zone, stuff there is fine. You're going to fight through all of those enemies. You're not going to have an issue. Um, but like the world zones for both here and mountaintops of the giants, they're just insane. Those are the blood dogs, so just be careful. Yeah, it's nuts. I mean, we're just, we're seeing, you know, those guys will, if you get caught by one of them, you're getting frenzied almost instantaneously, and then after that, you're probably going to get hit with a follow-up attack, and you're dead. Okay, I think we got what I wanted here. 
it's obviously there's a ton of uh, rhyme crystal buds around these trees out here so if you need that for whatever reason just load on up we got the smithing eight and then we got the thing by the dogs i think that was it let me see teleporter return to the ruins north side has a stone sword and a rune 10 middle has a building jump for endurable frenzy south passes the talisman so there is a rune 10 that i'm somehow overlooking over here Or, you know what? It might have been that one of these guys ended up getting caught in a crossfire and died and dropped a rune 10. But we'll, I'll take one more look and then we'll just go, because we're going past all this to go into the tunnels anyway. Uh, yeah, I thought it was like right here. I'm not seeing a rune 10 anywhere just laying around. wrote that it was on this first set of the ruins near the stone sword key which is right there hmm well to be honest I'm not terribly concerned with the rune 10 anyway we have more runes than we know what to do with at this point we're almost 150 and we still have three legacy dungeons left and the final bosses and the absolute shitload of runes they're gonna drop Did. Let's head on in. Now, this place is fantastic. This is basically just Upgrade Haven. We're going to get a ton of plus eights. By the time we come out of here, we might have enough. Um, well, we're getting, we're getting one weapon up to plus 25. Maybe two. Maybe two. Uh, so, a lot of frozen boys around here. I'd probably be better off going for this thing. start is pretty slow. Bunch of dead bodies. Nothing really of value. You can see this door. This is a shortcut. The boss is directly past it. We're going to open that up a bit later. Go on and drop. And right when we hit the bottom, the dudes will start moving again. Hammer will make real quick work of these guys. Uh, lighter weapons are going to bounce off, so... I would suggest having something with strike here. So continue along. And uh, there's a lot of smithing eights around here. So always keep your eyes on the wall. Because they're they're a good bit bigger. Like, there we go. There's a smithing stone eight. They're a good bit bigger than um, the previous stones we've seen. So they, they more, I don't know, they jet out further. But they look more like a natural part of the structure. And so it's very easy to overlook them as you're going through. Those three dead, we're gonna drop down. Got a uh, Alabaster Lord guy here. See, that's the juiciness I remember from that ability. Just like the instant staggers. Smithing Stone 8, Smithing Stone 8, Master Lord Sword. I think this is a 25. I'm literally just like I'm running along these walls, just mashing triangle. Kill a Lord, Rune Arc, plus 25 Smithing 8s, and Frozen Boys. Okay, I think we got them all. Let's see any more jutting out. Uh, 
up the ladder. We're going to cross for Greece, somber eight, and then up another ladder. Thing. One of those Lord guys that we just murdered. Another one of those coming up. Should not be hard though. We feel good, okay. Mm -mm -mm. You kind of already hear it though. You hear that like zapping noise, it's how you know you're nearby one. Another smithing eight. That's the path I came from. Somber nine. Somber eight. Yeah. I think we're good. Let's take one more loop along this side of things. I think we're good. Let this see. Yep, it's the one where I pulled it from. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. All right, inside we go. Uh, right over here, we can open that shortcut, of course. Um, and inside, we have Estelle 2.0. Um, quite literally, it's just Estelle. But again, it's Estelle again. It's stronger. For sure. Um, I think Estelle's weak to strike. I'm not sure. We're about to find out together. But this is the, the same exact fight. Got the laser. He's got his slam jams. He's got his teleport. All the same bullshit that you dealt with before. He has again. Except this version hits harder. Definitely, definitely a little bit harder than your predecessor. This ain't looking too good for me, I'm gonna be honest. Okay. 
It's okay though, we got the shortcut, so we'll just jump right in and take him down. Though it's, I'm surprised he's weaker to slash. I should look up his stats. He's weaker to all physical attacks, immune to frostbite. All elemental damage. Oh, well, slash. Well, this is the highest level weapon I have, so I guess that portion of things makes sense. Uh, I'm just going to take that off. Back, so that will be fine with our, our stats the way they are, I think. Oh, no. I want my damage. The gestures. Come on. I didn't mean to do gestures. This is one of those times where uh, having a little bit more of a, a spell style build definitely allow you some fun with this kind of spell build I was doing um put on uh oh so for the walkthrough prep I use the wings of Estelle it's a it's a int weapon but it's a really strong int weapon and it has an incredible amount of stagger, so just out of curiosity, I mostly fought him with that. But we were able to stagger him an insane number of times. Just stagger, 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 stagger. I do feel like I'm getting really lucky dodges this time around, which is a little weird. Oh, shit. Damn it. He's gobbling me up. I think I'm dead. Oh, man. It's like Spidey Sense right there. That was amazing. Could you stop running and let me just hit you in the face? Maybe I could stagger him there, but that did not happen. And keep in mind, all of these bosses, these are, you know, these aren't trophy bosses. These are just like optional. This guy is basically just here to mess your shit up. But mages, you should definitely kill this. You get access to um, an upgraded version of Meteorite. Super useful, obviously. You'll be able to do a ton of damage with it. Um, it's best used in conjunction with the... How I mentioned that we have access to... Uh, you know, either we use Comet Azure or we use the Meteorite. It's, it's like that, so... You know, against a guy like this, you could basically... Against a bigger enemy, you're going to obviously use your... Uh, Wow, okay, just, yeah, just, just, where am I shit? Damn, dude. Oh, man. I'm sure it's not helping. I, that I'm trying to power through this right now. I should probably just go to bed. Um, but, you know, we've been, we've been cruising along on this series. We're in the home stretch. It's like, despite being sick, I'm like, I want it, I want it done. I want to, you know, bring it home. So I could like I could probably like take a week off and then pick up at the very end when I'm not sick anymore, but ain't nobody got time for that. All right, Tish, you and me. I 
Actually, you know what? While he's looking at Teach, let me just go hit his legs. Let me just, just hit the legs. Hit a bleed rock. Because the head's obviously weaker, but going for the head, you get hit by bullshit constantly or grabbed or any other number of things. I think we actually win it this time with Tish, though. Nope. Teleport Jutsu Ram. He's gonna help lower that health down. I need to get like two hits in. Come on. Oh, there it is. Maximum health reduction saves the day. Pain in my ass. Uh, with that dead though, let me get rid of this marker. We're going to head on back to the round table hold because we are getting some upgrades. So let's see. Inventory. We have 12. So that's enough to... Well, I don't know. I got a couple upgrades in each of them, I think. Let's see. I not have... You know, I have a rune spell. The armament, there they are. Uh, so you're at 22. Oh, what do I want? I do like you, and you have a certain flavor of Zug Zug to you. You 60, 444. Uh, so they're actually very similar. Um, uh, I only have enough to get one for now. What's it going to be? Perumazula. Alec Tree. Um, I think. No, there are some dudes that have shields. Let's go with this. Let's go with that. We'll max that out. Only because I can uh, counterattack faster from behind the shield with that. Now that it's fully maxed out. 733. Not too bad. The Bloodhound's Fang honestly has just like absolutely insane, uh, insane damage on it for whatever reason. Uh, so yeah, Meteorite of Estelle, like I said, super good. This is basically just a upgraded version of this. It creates five instead of three. So the idea is you pop your infinite FP and then you just cast that and you just literally bombard the entire world until stuff's dead. Pretty straightforward, pretty damn powerful. Uh, so, we want to, I don't know if I have it on me or not, where are my torches at? Uh, we do, Sentry's Torch. Make sure you have the Sentry's Torch for this next part, we're going to need it. And don't, don't worry too much about picking which one you upgrade, um, Really soon we're going to go to Faroom Azula, and once we get to Faroom, we're going to grab the thing that allows us to just buy uh, Smithing 7s and Smithing 8s, so you'll be able to upgrade everything. So, go into the town and just kind of run around it to the right. Going down here. 
got the black knife set. I don't know if we can hop back up. No, we can't. We have to go around again. It's okay. Wanted to get you the black knife set now. Hop up on this little broken thing here. And examine that. Light the four figures. Hit that. and to the jail. Uh, the gimmick here is there's four of these things that we need to light. You can see one is up there. You are going to absolutely want to have the sentry torch on, though. So uh, whatever you do the most damage with, your staff, your weapon, whatever it is, put that in your main hand, put the sentry in your off hand. So, uh, assassin said, go around to the right for an assassin. So we're going to go this way for our first assassin. No, hang on. Sorry, there's the, there's the first one over here. We'll kill this one first and get the very first one. Down the stairs. The thing is, if you don't have on the sentry torch, these guys are invisible. Which obviously sucks. Wow. He was so slippery, he slipped his ass right into a backstab. This. It's one. And then we're going to head this way. And there's a little piece of candy we're going to grab. And we're going to go this way and jump. And then there should be another one right there. i walk up and get backstab on him. God, that thing hurts. That grab attack can like one hit KO you. I mean, these things have the same exact move set as what we already fought with the uh, uh, Electo. So you know you should be pretty familiar with these things by now. Oh, another ghost lover. Probably would have been more sense to take, uh, put no skill on the torch so that I could use my Bloodhound Fang attack, but I think we're doing just fine without it. So head on up here. This is going to give us a second thing to light. Okay, and then we'll drop. And we're going to just keep running. There's an archer that we're going to take out now. Ow, 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 ow. Yeah. Ah. I got the old fang at least. I was hoping to kill that archer now, but we'll just have to get to her later. You don't have to kill the archers. They're just really annoying to deal with. Down here, it shouldn't, uh, it shouldn't affect you at all. So right now we're going around to like the front. So head kind of southeast. You should see another assassin any minute now. Where are they at? Where are you at? Oh, you like to hang out around here. Come on. Come on. Not seeing the assassin. Usually, like right around here, like right in this this general area. But maybe they wandered away. Well, I'm not gonna stress about it. I mean, we get a ghost nine, but we can also buy an infinite supply of those, so it's not a huge concern. Uh, we want to go through this little path right here. So a good way to remember is right there is the very first one we got. We're gonna go right through here. Here we have a little sneaky ladder. Take that on up. Mm. 
Mm -mm -mm. Hit that. And the last one is right over there. Now this is the part that's a little bit of a pain in the ass. Um, we're gonna take this off. There shouldn't be any assassins on the rooftops. They're all on the ground prowling, so we can have our shield on for this part. We need to get over there without dying from all the bullshit that's being shot at us. Jump up! Come on! Even blank range, this thing can put out some damage, so don't, do not give it time. Once you kill that one, though, we're home free. Got <laughs> freaking arrows sticking out of my face. Go on and hit that. That is the fourth one. Seal was broken in town. Uh, you can go on over, but it's just gonna it'll just warp us in a moment. Grab that piece of loot. Hit the teleporter. And now we will travel on over to the Halig Tree. Now this is probably the hardest legacy dungeon in the game. Um, so we're actually gonna, we're gonna save this place for almost last. Um, from here, we're gonna go knock out the Mogwan Palace because we already, you know, we have access to it. Now's a good time. I uh, will get that out of the way after we knock out that. Uh, we're going to burn that and then head on over here to Furumazula. We'll get that done. Uh, after Furumazula is done, we'll then knock out Michaela's Halig Tree. And then after that is done, we have the final bosses. But so the great news is we're effectively done with like the world exploration. You know, all the, the stuff that's just out in the world in general. The mountaintops of the giants, the consecrated snowfields, the Altus, Gelmir, Liurnia, Limgrave, Kaled. All of that shit is done. So we are like, home stretch, home stretch. Uh, but yeah, anyway, grab this first grace. From here, we're gonna warp back on over uh, to the round table hold. And then since we've reached the tree, we can go on over here and talk to Gideon and he's gonna give us another reward. Because if you remember, he wants details about where the other three lords are. So, uh, this. I'm glad to see you've made more now. I suppose you'd like to meet too, my friend. Ah, I'd expect to find well, out. But with the... Ah, I suppose me... Ah, the information you... A secret. You are a truth. There you go, Black Flame's protection. Uh, that is a physical damage protection. It, it decreases how effective your flasks are, but it boosts your physical resilience up quite a bit, so... Uh, personally, I think I think it's worthwhile. I like using that. All, all of the uh, all of the buff heavy stuff in faith, you know that the fire, the holy, the lightning, those are all very very good defensive spells that I would recommend uh, you go ahead and pick on up. But from there, uh, we're heading back to Palace Approach Ledge Road. We've already done a little bit of this area when we warped here before, but we're gonna try and remember where all that loot was. Uh, but either way, we got the Mogwin Palace, so that is gonna be up next. Um, Mogwin might be one episode. I think we can bang it out in one episode. It's not that long. But either way, y'all stay tuned, and we'll have more coming your way soon.